Good morning my dear children. Today let's learn some grammar. All of you know to frame sentences, don't you? You know to read, write and speak well. You know to make sentences. Do you know that a sentence usually consists of three elements? What are they? The three elements of a sentence are subject, verb and object. The three elements in a sentence are subject, verb and object. Have you heard this before? What do I mean by subject? A subject is who or what performs the action. Who or what performs the action? Uru pravarti cheyinna dhaare. Okay? In a sentence, who does the action? Uru sentence ila action. Ali pravarti cheyinna dhaare. Ayal ana aare sentence ila subject. Then, what do you mean by verb? A verb is a word denoting an action. Uru pravarti na sujipikinna vaakki ni aana verb na varinne. A verb is a word that expresses an action. A verb is a word that denotes an action. Doing words. Doing words are known as verbs. Then, what do you mean by an object? An object is whoever or whatever receives the action. Who receives the action or whoever or whatever receives the action is known as the object. Okay? Now, I will tell you a sentence. Sudhir visited Tilak. In this sentence, Sudhir is a subject. Visited is a verb. And Tilak is the object. There is an easy way to find out the subject and object in a sentence. We can easily find out which is a subject and which is the object in a sentence. I will tell you that trick. It's very simple. In order to find out the subject in a sentence, just ask either of the questions, what or who. Okay? Just ask what or who before the word, verb in order to find the subject. Okay? Ask the questions, what or who before the verb to find out the subject. For example, in this sentence, Sudhir visited Tilak. We should ask the verb, who visited? Who visited? Sudhir. So, Sudhir is the subject. Then, we can find out the object in the sentence by asking, who or what after the verb? So, by asking, who or what after the verb, we can obtain the object. We can find out the object. For example, in the sentence, we can ask, Sudhir visited who? Okay, we can ask who after the verb. Sudhir visited who? What's the answer? Tilak. Sudhir visited Tilak. So, Tilak is the object. Okay, I will give you another example. Tilak loud football. Tilak loud football. In this sentence, which is the subject? In order to find Find out the subject and object. We need to ask questions to the verb. Okay. The sentence is Tilak loud football. Okay. Let's ask the questions to the verb. Which is the verb in the subject? Sorry. Which is the verb in the sentence? The verb is loud. Okay. The word denoting an action. Loud is the Verb. So, in order to find out the subject, we should ask who or what before the verb. Who loud? Who loud football? Tilak loud football. So, Tilak is the subject. Tilak is the subject. Then, in order to find out the object, we should ask who or what after the verb. Tilak loud what? Tilak loud Football. So, loud is the verb and football is the object. Okay? 
I hope this is clear to you. It's very simple. Now, all of you please take page number 23 in your textbook. Page number 23. Circle the subjects and underline the objects in these sentences. We can see some sentences here. We need to circle the subjects in these sentences and we should underline the objects. Okay, look at the first sentence. They like loud sports. How can we find out the subject? Just ask the questions what or who before the verb. Who loud sports? The answer is Tilak. So Tilak is the subject. Just circle the word Tilak. Then, which is the object? You can ask the questions what or who after the verb. Tilak loud what? Tilak loud? The answer is sports. So, you can underline sports. Sports is the object. Tilak is a subject and sports is the object. And what is loud? Loud is the verb. Then, the second sentence. Tilak missed school for six weeks. Which is the subject in the sentence? Which is the, first of all, we should find out the verb in the sentence. Okay, which is the verb in the sentence? The verb is missed okay missed is the verb then we should ask questions to the verb who missed school for six weeks they like miss school so they like is the subject you should circle the subject then they like missed what they like missed what what's the answer school so please underline school this is the school is the object Next sentence, he was the captain of the cricket team. The verb in the sentence is was. Was is the verb. He was the captain of the cricket team. Who was the captain of the cricket team? Who was? We should ask the question what or who before the verb. Who was the captain? He. The answer is he. So he is the subject. Then, he was who? He was the captain of the cricket team. So, the object in the sentence is the captain of the cricket team. Then, the second, next sentence, fourth sentence. So, they enjoyed reading books. Who enjoyed reading books? The answer is Sudhir. So, Sudhir is a subject. Sudhir enjoyed what? You can ask the question what after the verb. The verb is enjoyed. Okay, enjoyed is a verb. So, they enjoyed what? The answer is reading books. So, reading books is the object. All of you, please try to find out the rest on your own. Okay, please circle the subject and underline the object. Can you do this? Please try to do it on your own. Next one, use grammar. Work in pairs. Take turns to complete these sentences about your partner by adding suitable objects. You need to fill in these blanks using appropriate objects. Okay? You can complete these sentences by using or by adding suitable objects. First one, my partner likes dash. What will be the answer? You can write down any answer there. My answer is my partner likes to listen to music. My partner likes to listen to music. You can write your own answer. Okay. My partner likes to cook food. You can write down any answer. My partner likes to listen to music. My partner likes to dance. Okay. Then second one. She or he does not like dash. He or she does not like sweets. You can't write anything else. Okay. Next sentence. Her or his favorite movie is Dash. You can write the name of any movie here. Her or his favorite movie is Titanic. She or he plays Dash. She or he plays Badminton. P. 
piano, hide and seek. You can write any game here. She or he wants dash. She wants to become a doctor. He wants to become a teacher. You can write down anything here. We enjoy dash. We enjoy talking to each other. Okay. We enjoy sharing our food. Write your own answers. Okay. Please complete this. Next one. Form two teams in class. The teacher writes a sentence on the board. Team A changes the subject and reads out the new sentence. Team B changes the object and reads out the sentence. Take turns to do this 10 times. Have you understood anything? It's very simple. I will, we can do this during our evening session. Okay. I will write down a sentence on the board. Okay. I will write down a sentence on the board. One student has to change the subject in that sentence. Okay. You should replace the subject with another subject. Okay. And read out the new sentence. And another student, the second student should change the object in that sentence and read out the sentence. Okay. For example, here there is the sentence. Teacher, I lost a pen yesterday. Team A. My mother lost a pen yesterday. Which is the subject in the sentence? First of all, which is the verb in the sentence? The verb, the word denoting action is lost. Lost is the verb. So in order to find the subject, we need to ask the question, who or what before the verb? Who lost a pen yesterday? I. I lost. So I is the subject. I is the subject. So, the question is to replace the given subject with another subject. Okay. We have to change the subject. Here in the sentence, the subject is change. The subject has been changed. My mother lost a pen yesterday. The rest of the sentence remain the same. Only the subject changed in the sentence. Okay. The first sentence, the subject was I. The second sentence, the subject is my mother. Okay. Then in the third sentence, the subject is the same. My mother lost her keys yesterday. In the second sentence, it was my mother lost a pen yesterday. The pen was the object in the sentence. The pen is the object in this sentence. Lost is a verb. My mother is the subject and pen is the object. The third sentence the object is changed. Okay. The object is changed to her keys. Okay. The subject and verb remain the same. We can do this during our Google Meet session. I will give you another example. Then it will be more clear. Teacher. Tilak found a puppy yesterday. Which is a verb in the sentence. The verb is Found. Found is the verb. The word denoting action. Then, who found a puppy yesterday? The answer is Tilak. So, Tilak is the subject. Tilak found what? Tilak found? The answer is a puppy. A puppy is the object. So, the first student. Pupil means student. The first student or the first pupil will have to Change the subject. Okay. So, here the subject is changed. I. Instead of Tila, we use the subject I. I found a puppy yesterday. The rest of the sentence remain the same. Only the subject is changed. Here the subject is I. Verb is found. And object is a puppy. Then, the third student has to change the object. By keeping the rest of the sentence same. I found a, instead of puppy, the another object, kitten is added. I found a kitten yesterday. What do you mean by kitten? Kitten is a young one of a cat. Pucha kutti. Kitten means pucha kutti. I found a kitten yesterday. So here the object is changed. Okay. 
we can do this activity during the evening conversation practice tilak fractured his leg he had many visitors who wanted to know how he was feeling read this conversation between tilak and his aunt we know that the boy in our story tilak fractured his leg and many of his friends visited him regularly not just friends some of the relatives also visited him here we can see a conversation between tilak and his aunt let's read this conversation tilak's aunt is asking how are you tilak then what is tilak's reply i am better thank you my leg still hurts though i am feeling better thank you aunty my leg still hurts though my leg is still hurting i have some pain in my leg then tilak's aunt is advising him you must rest and take your medicines regularly then tilak says yes aunty i will then tilak's aunty is wishing him get well soon thank you aunty says tilak see it's a very simple conversation have a similar conversation with your partner we need to prepare a similar conversation today imagine that one of you is in bed with fever and the other one is visiting her or him use these sentences just imagine that either you or your partner is bedridden due to fever so just try to prepare a similar conversation okay please write it in your notebook i will give you one more model partner how are you dakha you i am better thank you karan my head aches though partner you must rest and take your medicines regularly you yes i will partner get well soon you thank you karan see I have prepared a similar conversation exactly like the one given in your textbook okay you can prepare a similar conversation please write it in your notebook i will ask you to read it during our google meet session in the evening okay enrichment activities 1 for lessons 1 and 2 here there are two enrichment activities for lessons 1 and 2 first one poems are of different kinds children do you know that there are different kinds of poems there are different types of poems you will learn about each of the different types of poems in your higher classes okay poems pala tarathil undu there are different types of poems an acrostic is a poem in which the first letter of each line forms the subject of the poem when read downwards acrostic is a type of poem okay it's a kind of a poem in which the first letter of each line forms the subject of the poem when read downwards here look at this poem this is a very small poem just look at the first letters of these lines what do you find you can read the word sports when you observe the first letters of these lines you can find the word sports in this word sports is a subject of this poem this poem is about sports okay acrostic ennu parunnathu oru type of poem aanu acrostic poems inde pratheegatha endha acrostic poem thile oru variyade first letter thaalekku ingane vaichaale we will get the subject or theme of that poem okay here we can see a poem and the subject or theme of this poem is sports okay let's read this poem sports something that is fun puts everybody on run over to the fields racing all the way teams gather and play spirits are up and gay see this is a small poem about 
sports form groups of 4 each group should write an acrostic poem on one of these topics friends school trees fruits holidays write it on a sheet of chart paper illustrate your poem put up your charts in the classroom so the task assigned to you children is that you have to write an acrostic poem on one of these topics five topics are given here among these five topics you can choose one topic and write a poem write an acrostic poem on that topic ഇവിടെ അഞ്ച് ടോപ്പിക്സ് തന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് സ്കൂൾ ട്രീസ് ഫ്രൂട്ട്സ് ഹോളിഡേയ്സ് ഈ അഞ്ച് ടോപ്പിക്സിൽ ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു ടോപ്പിക്ക് ചൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് അതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് വേണമെങ്കിൽ ഒരു അക്രോസ്റ്റിക് പോം എഴുതാം ദിസ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് എ കമ്പൽസറി ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് കമ്പൽസറി യു ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ഓക്കെ ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ടു റൈറ്റ് എ പോം ദെൻ യു ക്യാൻ ജസ്റ്റ് ഗിവ് ഇറ്റ് എ ട്രൈ താല്പര്യം ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഒരു അക്രോസ്റ്റിക് പോയം എഴുതി നോക്കാം ഐ വോണ്ട് കമ്പൽ യു ഓക്കെ വാട്ട് യു ഹാവ് ടു കീപ്പ് ഇൻ മൈൻഡ് വൈൽ റൈറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ അക്രോസ്റ്റിക് പോം ഒരു അക്രോസ്റ്റിക് പോം എഴുതുമ്പോൾ യു ഷുഡ് ജസ്റ്റ് ബി കെയർഫുൾ ദാറ്റ് യു ഷുഡ് മേക്ക് ഷുവർ ദാറ്റ് വെൻ ബി റീഡ് ദ ഫേസ്റ്റ് ലെറ്റേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ലൈൻസ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് പോം ദെൻ ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ഫോം ദ സബ്ജെക്ട് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് പോം ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ ജസ്റ്റ് ഗിവ് ഇറ്റ് എ ട്രൈ it's not compulsory anyway then next question look at this picture and describe what you see write the description in your notebook here you can see a picture you can see many people doing different things in this picture we have to describe this picture can you do this i will give you an answer this is the answer there is quite a crowd at the doctor's clinic here you can see the doctor's clinic is crowded this is a clinic you can see the red cross this is a clinic and you can see the doctor inside uh, a room inside his chamber he is wearing a white coat if you closely observe the picture you can see him there is quite a crowd at the doctor's clinic A nurse is attending phone calls while some children are playing waiting for their turn okay in this picture you can see a nurse attending phone calls and some children are playing and they are waiting for their turn children who have already visited the doctor are leaving his chamber okay you can see a child coming out of the doctor's chamber he has already visited the doctor parents are trying to soothe the little ones you can also see parents soothing the little ones parents soothing or comforting their babies soothe what do you mean by soothe soothe means comfort or console aashisipikya okay you can see the parents soothing their babies or consoling their babies taking care of their baby okay parents are trying to soothe the little ones and are patiently waiting their turn they are patiently waiting their turn patiently means shemeode okay they are patiently waiting their turn okay you can write a similar description of this picture okay try to write it in your own words if you find it difficult then you can write this answer in your notebook okay anyway just give it a try just try to write the answer in your own words or else you can write this answer in your notebook